Hello! In the next few minutes I'm going to demonstrate how we can make a very simple Facebook application. Please don't forget to enable the HD function below in order to be able to see all the details. Be careful, this is about a Facebook application, not a Facebook page. Creating a Facebook application is slightly more involved than just a single page. We separated three steps. First one, set up the server. Second, create a Facebook application from within Facebook and third, we write some PHP code to do something useful with it. We are going to show those steps right now. The first step is to set up the server. It would be nice to assume that everybody has an HTTP server installed in his computer, but actually this is not true. So the first step is to install an HTTP server and a good one. So we go and search on Google for XAMPP and the first answer we get is this one, Apache Friends. We choose XAMPP for Windows or our operating system and we continue the process of installation. You won't have any problem installing it, but in case you have any problem, just Google for XAMPP installation tutorial. So right now I assume you have installed the, the XAMPP on the localhost. So if you put this URL here, HTTP localhost, it will give you the XAMPP for Windows default screen. We move on on creating on a new directory inside the, the XAMPP documents. So this will be by default installation XAMPP docs slash temp. And let's put here a default index.php file. We open it with an editor. Let's write an h1 hello world. So right now if we go to localhost slash temp we will see hello world. So everything is set up and fine. The only problem is that actually nobody from the outside world can find our IP and read this file. In order to be able to do that we will have to use a static IP or even better if we go to noip.com we can choose the noip free version and this will allow us to have a static uh, subdomain on, for example, noip.org which will point into our local IP at our home. This is a very useful thing because even if we change uh, IP, for example, if we have a dynamic IP conne internet connection, it will keep following our IP and it will be always valid. Maybe you need to disable a few firewalls, but after a while I assume that you can have an HTTP, your domain name, noip.org slash temp and you can show this hello world we just created before. Now we move on to the second step which is to create a Facebook application from within Facebook. Our starting point is developersfacebook.com then we go apps on facebook.com and we go a little bit below the first step is register your Facebook application. We allow the developer application to be installed for our account and now we can set up a new application. We might see this warning telling us to add a mobile phone or credit card number. We can go on and put a mobile phone verification. After that we can just refresh here and everything is ready. We can go on and create our application. We agree. For application name we put something that doesn't have the Facebook name on it. This is tricky so let's create for example the Demo site is up. Create application. And uh, this is the main settings page. Okay, it looks complicated. We just skip those th things. The only thing we need to set up is the canvas URL. One more detail. Here we have to put uh, a URL, a canvas page. So let's put uh, demo site is here. And now we are ready to save. Please don't forget to select iframe here and click save changes. After that we are ready to see our application here. HTTP apps Facebook. We copy and we paste and go. Here it is. Hello world from our applications from within Facebook. I believe you expected it would be more difficult, didn't you? Now we go to the third step which is write some PHP code. So right now let's do something slightly more advanced. If we go down in the application page we can see here the example code. We tell us to download this one. Let's download it. This is the Facebook API. We can move it into our temp directory and we uncompress it here. 
we can delete this one and then we can rename it all those instructions were in the last page to this nice name Facebook PHP SDK we go to examples we grab example.php we move it here and then we rename it to index.php here we are now if we open index.php we can copy paste the first few lines exactly as shown on the example code here and then just click save all we have to do now is take our canvas page and open it in a new window we will see that there is an error this is because we don't have curl library installed in our PHP all we have to do in order to fix this is to go to XAMPP and then PHP and then find php.ini open it with an editor and then search for curl we can see here that this is commented out we just uncomment it we save and then we go to XAM, XAM control and we restart Apache when this is done we can refresh and here it is application loaded fantastically but let's face it, this is a quite complicated example. Let's really simplify it. If we Google simple plus game embed, now if we check the second link, there are some nice flash games. We just paste them inside index.php and we click refresh. We can see our application loads and we have our first game inside Facebook. So in the last few minutes we presented completely step to step how to create a Facebook application. I hope you find it useful. If you like this video don't forget to share it on Twitter or on Facebook with the buttons below. If you have questions just post comment below this video. Thank you very much Dimitris Quiz Lucas for Saites.gr